Welcome to Perfectly Average Golf and welcome to Winter Golf. We're out at Conesty Falls, a course that we've played a handful of times that we put together a handful of great rounds on. But today, we're trying to go out to see if we can break 80. We had a handful of some of the best scramble shots we've ever made before and it definitely gave us a look. It just comes down to seeing, would we actually get underneath 80 today? What is up, Perfectly Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel. Oof. It's chilly out today. We're playing about 40 degree weather golf at Conesty Falls. 6,500 yards, it's like a 72 rating and a 133 slope. And I think the goal out here is we're trying to search for some content to do. I think we're gonna try to see if we can go out and break 80. Uh, a lot of the rounds that we've played lately, I either haven't kept score when we were in Jamaica or we were playing really loose, just kind of seeing where we end up. But I think we're gonna go out and try to see if we can break a record today. Last we were here, we shot 10 over 82 and we had like three penalties. So we played this course pretty darn well, but the conditions were we're much warmer. <laughs> so we'll see how things fly. We've got three wood to start us off with this par four. Pretty much dead straight away. A little dog leg to the right. Let's see how they go today. See if we can break 80. Come on, let's go. All right. A little left of desired, but it'll work out. Let's go hit it. Good shot, let's go. Hmm, no break. All right, part of the first. So for those that are returning uh, from the Jamaica series, you guys know that putter was kind of our devil uh, when we were playing in the Caribbean. I spent about 30 minutes or so out here before the round getting some putts in, and I just don't know what it is, but I just have zero feel for putter today. I don't know if it's because the greens are just like not breaking as much as I think, or I don't know. I just feel like I have very little feel in the hands right now for putter. That might be where this break 80 is either made or broken <laughs> as we go through. We have a very short par five coming up. It's like a little over 460. It's pretty much dead straight away, but it does play up the hill. So it plays a little longer than the card reads. We got driver, gotta hit a fairway. Let's go, let's keep at it. Yeah, same thing I did the three wood. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Not much we could do with that. We are gonna play a little bit of winter golf rules here with the fairways being a little bit, you know, jumpy and bunchy with the rain and the grass not fully growing. That was a tough lie right there. All we had available to us was that little layup. So we'll take it. We have an up and down. Could still possibly make birdie. Let's see, I want the contact. Didn't like the drive. Like that five iron though. Check up. Ah, a little long. Thank you. Okay, a little two putt. I'm surprised that that first uh, approach, that little that little pitch shot went as long as it did. I caught it right when I how I wanted to, but I was like a 70 yard shot for like a barely a half swing. So I don't know, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's starting to get a little warmer, take the beanie off, and we've got a really cool par four here. It's about 300 and like 15, 20 yards, something like that, I don't really know. But all you have to know is you have to get to this top plateau, which is only about 190, 200 yard shot. And then you go straight down the hill off a of dog leg to the left, so. Need something solid, we got five iron right away towards this little rock garden in the distance. Let's go, par par. Thank you. All right. I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you guys feel when you guys are playing with multiple layers. I've got long sleeve, short sleeve, Q-zip, vest. I feel like I'm swinging with a snowsuit on. <laughs> the swing just feels real cloudy, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you guys feel the same way, if you have any tricks to try to counter that. It's a perfect shot though, let's go. 130 yards, well 150 playing down to 130. We got 50 degree, should be a nice easy one. We got really lucky with this lie. We're right on a nice little level platform. Gotta get it back there, a little elevated uh, ridge there, kind of guarding this pin. Nice shot. All right. Bravo, bravo. 
<laughs> Thank you. Okay, three pars in a row, we like that start. We got 390, but there's a lake that kind of splits these fairways. Last we were here, we hit three wood and it was too much club. Um, but with the cold and the wind, I think we're gonna be fine with it. So we got three wood, fairways and greens all day, come on. These pull hooks come back again. Gotta figure that out. Don't want that all day. All right, we gotta be smart here. We ended up left of the cart path with a tree right in our way, which is unfortunate. We could go low, try to hook something up. One of the guys I'm playing with their balls right in the middle of the fairway. That's kind of where we're looking to go. If we can play up and down for par, that'd be fine. Now, let's see. It's gonna be six iron, a little chopper, a little choppy punch. See if we can get something out to roll. Oh, how about a putt? How about that? I love these new irons. Allows us to do stuff like that. <laughs> it's so good. Keep going, please. <laughs> good roll. Nice play. Good Thank play. you. One heck of a start. Parts all over the place. First part three of the day, 174 back pin, elevated as well to kind of get on the top back side of this ridge that's kind of uh, on the back part of the screen. So we got seven iron, it's a little into the wind, so it's gonna be a full swing. On the green would be fine. <laughs> Let's keep going. Is that long? Yeah. Holy smokes. Well, the wind was absolutely helping, not hurting, so wrong club. Gotta just punch something up towards the, the rough here, through these two trees. See if we can save this. We still have a little bit of a swing here, so that's fine. Is that all? Alright, we got a putt. I'm, I mean, I caught that seven perfect, but yeah, now that we're up here, this one is absolutely helping. That was the wrong club. Got a hit ball. Nice from Thank you. There. Good save. Yeah. Good save. It's not a bad four at all considering. No. Nope. Alright, not a bad four considering. Got a big dog leg to the left up the hill. Only need to hit about a 240, 250 yard shot. So we got seven wood. Trying to get this thing nice and solid up towards the trees in the distance. Cool. Oh, stay there. Hang on. Hang on, ball. Stay left. Hang on, ball. Stay left. I think you're up. We'll see. Alright, we just hung on. Actually, we had a little bit more space than I thought we did. Got about 165 up to this pin. Eight iron. You don't want to be short and right. So we're going to try to go right at it. If anything, a little left. Oh, it's way left. Hit something, come back. Big pull. All right, this is a very difficult shot. Hit a super tight lie. Everything wants to run away from this pin. I think we're gonna try to play it almost towards where this mound is. See if we can get a little bit of height on this, but just want to get something up there. Hopefully give ourselves a putt. Oh no. Chunk. Sit, 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 sit. Ah, that's not good. Did. Did. All the, that would have been such a big save. Good shot, I hate this green. <laughs> it always gets me. That green always eats me up because you can't be short and right because then you're in a no man's land situation. But if you're up and left, well, everything runs away from you. It's a real, really, really, really tough green. We got an approachable par five. It is into the wind today though, so I don't know if getting there in two is gonna be really doable. There's a little white thing on the distance. I still don't know what it is. Um, that's the target naming line, just straight towards that. But driver, come on, we need to get one back. Face, we take it. Oh wow! Big pull. Bounce out. Oh, 
Wow, how did that not come out right? Ball way below my feet like that. Super surprised that, that didn't come out right at all. This big pull. I don't know, it's winter golf though. We should be able to find it out there, hopefully. And then we're punching. We've got a salvage for par, I think, and probably more than anything. Unless we have an angle, you never know. Let's see if we can find it first though. All right, believe it or not, we found it. We've got a swing, we have a bit of a gap. There's these two trees, we gotta kinda cut these. We're gonna hit some of these branches up here at 58 degree. But I think if we get just the right angle on this, it has a chance of getting on the green. Let's see, I don't know how far it is, but we've got a shot. It missed everything. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> It didn't hit a thing. I think we got a putt or a chip. Regardless, the fact that it didn't touch anything, that's so good. All right, let's capitalize. Let's at least make par. Got a little hoppy there. Yeah, a little bit. Gotta keep it interesting. Chilling lefty, I like it. Yeah, I've, I've been told if you hit it backhanded, it takes the breakout. It's an absolutely un real par save. <laughs> Nearly the birdie of my life right there. We got a par three coming up. It's about 176 from this top box. Uh, it's gonna be playing a bit different than that though. Right into the wind, downhill. One of my favorite par threes out here in Western North Carolina. Middle pin position, green light special, come on. All right, one more to play here in the front nine. We got seven wood out, dog leg to the right. Mid 300s, par four. Just gotta try to put a little bit of a fade off the house you can, you're gonna see right off the opening starting line. Even if we don't hit a fade, this is still just enough club to hold the corner. So here we go, see if we can get a birdie before we get on to 10. Well, get down. Up and down. Caught a little thin. Oh. All right, it's a four over front nine with that little sloppy double. Lots of great recovery shots. We got hole 10. Playing from the blues, the back box is way up there and it's just not worth the hike today. Three wood over the left side of this corner should give us a inside 100 yard shot if we hit it well. Let's go. Sit, turn, get down, get down. You will see. We just keep getting lucky with this title is three. Founder, got a chance. <laughs> Don't get up and down. 58 degree. Got to get this ball up there. It's unreal. Better lucky than good sometimes. <laughs> Okay there, friendos. That is a miraculous, almost par save again. Uh, we've got a par five, huge ravine here. We hit two different types of shots just for fun. We hit six iron to get to this first platform. Then we hit driver to see if we can get over everything. Very rare that we do that, but we'll give it a try. Let's see. Sits off, please. Nope. It's right side, it's just not where you want to be. But we're up, we've got seven iron. We're not gonna be able to obviously get there with this live. We're gonna try to go right over this tree right in the middle of us though. Seven iron should get over the top of that. In fact, let's go a little bit higher, let's go eight. That is absolutely perfect. Love it. 
Love it. Also, I feel like I'm really compressing these irons today. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like I'm really getting down in the top of my backswing, really getting that squat motion, and it's provided some really great contact for us. Great shot shaping, great recovery shots, great compression. It's got to get driver to figure things out a little bit. We're not, we haven't really hit a great drive yet, so that's the next thing up, especially with these next handful of holes. These are the toughest holes in the course without a question. Distance is good, line is bad. It's gotta hit there. It's gotta get there, Alan. All right, three bogeys in a row. We're gonna have to pick it up. We got a couple more driver shots still left to go on this back nine. A lot of three wood coming up though as well. This one's gonna be driver. Right where the cart path disappears, that's the line for us. We need to hit a good drive here. It will give us a really good opportunity to possibly get a, got to get a three in the cart here. Let's go. Should be all right. Yeah, just in the rough. short. Not bad though with that lie. Oh, Alan. What is that? Stay out. Ah. Oh, stop. stop. Golly. We are trending in the wrong direction. Par three, about 174 to the pin, back pin. We're gonna take eight, a lot of helping wind up here. We need something here, we need at least par. Birdie would be incredible just to get us back to a more manageable score to try to get underneath 80. Here we go. bogey train we have a lot of shot maker holes coming up though including this one right here elevated tee box hidden seven wood just to the corner and dog legs to the left here we go oh that is just you're gonna find that flat spot right up i there. think so yep oh, nice. love this club Long line. Stay up there. Turn. Ooh. Oh, good nice. catch, Hall. Nice. Good it catch, Hall. Get it home. Golly, that's big. Considering that we said that uh, putter was feeling real bad, <laughs> we've had some really good putts today. Confidence has kind of slowly been uh, coming back to us. This next part five, we have to hit solid driver. Uh, it's not fully reachable in two. We need to find a birdie somewhere. It maybe feel really, really good about our chances at getting underneath, underneath 80, but it's a 556 par five. Um, off the elevated tee box, goes downhill, and it's right back up the whole way. So come on, we need a good drive here. Got all of it. No oh my way. God. Finally, we hit a draw. Got all of it. See? All right, we bounce back into play. Don't really have a full swing. Actually, I kind of do. If I get up on the ball, we'll see. Four irons, gonna punch this thing out. Give it a run. That's nice with a tree in your back swing. Yeah. A little far. Yep. <laughs> Bite. Bite. <coughs> oh, whoa. Slow down, slow down, slow down. 
beauty. Thank you. Putter's coming up real clutch for us. 370 par four, dogly to the right, down the hill. Driver, we can actually, with it being winter, almost take it over these trees with a little bit of a fade and we can get real close to the green. So that's gonna be the call. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna try to go over these trees here that you're about to see and it's be a nice time to make a birdie. Whew, come on. Oh, oh what a bounce. Oh. We'll take it. <laughs> Come back. It bounced straight out left. Yeah, I see. Good. Oh, don't turn. Sit. Get down. Come back. Ah. Do something. The right <laughs> distance, too. Hurry. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah. All right. All of us pull fives? All right. Finish strong, gentlemen. Yeah, I need to get one back somewhere if we want to break 80. Yeah. Got a 175 shot. I got seven iron here against the wind. That's more oh, like it. Use your hole one. Yeah, right. Left. See the pretty couples. All right, tough par three right there. Feels bad, we had it, man. It was right there in our grasps. We would need to get a birdie here to get to 80. Maybe a hole out, you never know. This is a tough par four though. Slanted fairway, it's gonna, everything's gonna kick to the right, driver, and then it's usually like seven iron or eight iron if we catch a good one, so. Gotta hit a good drive here. Maybe gives ourselves a chance. It'd be nice just to get a three on the card today on these par fours, just because we've had a lot of great looks, just haven't quite been able to get it home, so. Here we go, one more good driver swing, please, let's go. It's fine, but it's just not well hit. Didn't have driver today. Chunk and run. Nearly got up there, just didn't get good contact. Ah. Release, now settle. Nice touch. All right. Hit the ball, Alan. So many of those today. Oh. All right there, perfectly average golfers. Another 10 over 82. <laughs> Can't be mad about it, but you know, after we had kind of started off the year, I played around off camera in Charlotte and I shot a 78. I was like, look, if we're gonna be playing that level of golf and we're really getting a feel for these irons and we're hitting driver as well as we are, this year is gonna be trying to break 80 on a more consistent basis. So 82 is pretty solid. We had so many looks at birdie today that we just didn't quite get the ball to the hole, but we ended up saving a lot of pars, which is really awesome to feel. Um, but driver was a little bit amiss for us. Didn't really get the distance and the uh, direction that we normally get so really fun but not under 80 unfortunately three strokes away from doing it coming up next hard to say again i might be dropping down to south carolina trying to play some of the courses that are in that area Furman golf courses recommended by you guys in the comments it's a great shout have yet to play there and it will test our game again so maybe that's the next time we'll go out maybe try to do another break 80 there that'd be nuts and until next point whatever comes up hopefully you guys out there stay perfectly average Bye bye